So hello and welcome back. See, my hair's going mental, look. Look at it. All because the hairdressers are closed because of lockdown. So I'm just letting it grow at the minute, but look. Wow, that's the longest hair I've ever had in my life. Honestly. I'm gonna get like, hopefully that Clint Eastwood look from Dirty Harry. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, while that's growing, um, we're gonna finish off the lawnmower. Hopefully in this video. So let me show you. So that's how far we've got with it. Um, I'm happy with that. I, I think that's not bad considering, um, considering it's antique. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is the engine. Now look, you can see a lot of grime in there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this exhaust off. I don't wanna break anything, so I, I'm hoping that comes off easy. Uh, and yeah, so basically we're gonna pour the oil out as well. I know you should have it warm, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna drain out. We're gonna take the oil out as well, because I do have new engine oil for it. I imagine the oil in this is antique, <laughs> as much as the rest of it. And we're going to paint the engine block grey, the carburetor grey as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll um, get it put back together again, have it running within the next uh, day or two. So I've already undone it. Now, I reckon this could be bad, all right, real bad. Um, I reckon this hasn't had a change in a long time. I hope there's not a lot of oil in here, so let's try and not drop the nut in. Oh. No, it's not that bad though, is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know actually. It's pretty black, isn't it? Oh yeah. So, um, yeah, let me just pour it out. Yeah, it's not, um, it's a bit treacly, isn't it? So, um, I've had a slight mishap. Um, I painted the engine block in grey and I've realised I've not recorded it. So uh, yeah, let's, let me show you what I've done. So that's it at the minute. Um, now originally the carburetor was painted. Uh, I don't want to do that in black really, I don't know if I like it in that colour. Um, so yeah, no, I've chipped the paint off there as well, which is a bit annoying, so I'm going to touch that up. But yeah, that's generally it. Um, so we're getting there, slowly but surely we're getting there. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm, I've completely knackered myself up and not uh, not recorded it. So I've cleaned the pool start up and I painted that bit black. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to look look alright when I get it put on. So that's my uh, engine so far. I'm quite happy with that. Shame I missed a bit of the video, lost a bit of the video, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks alright. So, yeah. I think that's as uh, well that's as good as I could get it anyway. So the next thing we're gonna do is change these clutches. Um, so like I say, you can see I've painted on, I'm just gonna throw these ones away. Um, so I've got some new ones. You can see I've already undone the pins ready to take the new ones. Uh, I think I need to take this little screw out the top here. There's a spring in here as well. So we just need to do that next. So I've just got the handlebar grips on. Now these are not, uh, these don't actually fit properly because it's slightly too big. Um, I couldn't find, when I got them out, I had one white one left, but it was broken and I couldn't find any. So I had to get slightly bigger ones. And what I've done is I've actually just silicon them on so I've just put them on with a little bit of silicon inside just to hold them on um, so they don't fall off when you're using it but yeah good and like I say next job is change the uh, change the clutches so there's the top clutch in that and that has to be pretty easy I'm not sure how you set this up I don't know if you're meant to have it sort of there I don't know because you can adjust it on this little screw here. Um, so let me show you on the next one how to remove it. So take the pin out, because I've already had that out. When I went to get the clutches, which was before Christmas, I um, I bought, I took one off to have a look. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna have to come back. 
So there's your spring. There's the old clutch. That one's not actually knackered, but it's um, it's getting quite low. Hence the, I've just got to take a little screw out. That's all it is. It's just full of dust. And yeah, so, I say I want to keep this mower for a few years and I want to actually use it, so. A new set of clutches in it, quite good. So these are new old stock, but there's the number on it. L4472, I think it says. So these are new old stock, so this, I'm not being funny, this mower will probably last me out. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get them on. So I've just put a new bit of petrol pipe on. Um, a bit better. Now I'm going to put the new oil in it. So basically, this is the old oil, and it was pretty much on the maximum. So I'm just going to fill this with new oil, and then you hopefully should get it near enough right first time. So I don't think we're far off of that. Oh, I've put a little bit more in there, because... Uh, it was just below the maximum, but look at the difference in colour. Ugh, look how gloopy that is then. It's nice, isn't it? So, let's pour that in. So, let's have a look. Oh yeah, just on the maximum, perfect. So, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I'll say, I haven't bolted the engine on yet. I've not put it on too tight so this can spin freely when it's not engaged. Yeah. So it's not too bad. No real movement there, so that's alright. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's looking, I think it's looking ace. So what I've got to do next, I've still got to put the uh, throttle cable on. I've just cleaned it up actually a little bit. There we go, look, it looks nice and clean again. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Uh, and these are the engine bolts I've got to put on. So they all need cleaning up, but you see I've got a bit of overspray on that one. And look at that. Let's see, I just started cleaning one, but I'm not going to do no more tonight now. Um, and that, I believe, so, uh, like I say, hopefully, if I, depends what time I finish work tomorrow, I might get it finished, um, put some petrol in it and see if it goes, hopefully, um, <laughs> it should do, I can't see why it wouldn't, and, uh, and then we won't be able to test cutting the lawn with it though for a little while, because uh, it's a bit wet at the moment. We'll have to wait for the lawn to dry out a bit and probably give it another couple of months and then I'll do a video of actually using it and see how it performs. Um, I've just got to do, adjust the blade as well, the height of the blade and that as well. But yeah, so we're getting on well. So um, yeah, like I say, I would finish it tonight, but um, it's now seven o'clock at night and I've got work at 3 a.m. And I know what it's like. I, I was out here late last night and the night before so uh, I was feeling it a bit this morning, so I'm going to have a bit of an early one tonight and then hopefully crack on with it tomorrow. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to crack on with the Rotovator. Yeah, so that's got, I'm looking forward for that. It's going to be quite interesting. I'm just going to use the same orange as the um, Suffolk Colt there. Use the same orange. And I need to get some white paint to do that with because uh, I haven't got any. Because originally the Briggs & Stratton engine itself was white, the handlebars are white and the rotors are white. So I've got to get some paint for that. So I got home uh, early today and I've finished the lawnmower. So we're going to actually see if it runs now. So let me show you what it looks like at the moment. So the throttle is now on. Um, the engine is bolted on. So let's switch the petrol on. Let's prime the carb. See it going through to that. That'll do. Give it a bit of throttle. Now this hasn't been run for a few weeks, so let's see if it will just uh, fire up nice and easy. Now this is either going to go very well or not very well. <laughs> what? It'd be one of the two. All right. Just start with it. Yeah. Ready? Oh! Oh! First pull.
So that runs really nice now and um, well, like I say, it doesn't smoke at all. Now, last year when I got this lawnmower, I used to smoke a bit and I changed the oil now. And uh, yeah, I think that's made a big difference. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I can't believe first pull as well. I mean, it's sat on the shelf there for about two or three months now in pieces. Uh, so next thing is cut the lawn with it. Now we're not gonna cut the lawn with it probably for another couple of months because uh, at the moment it's February and it's wet all the time and damp and uh, we have to wait for it to dry out a bit. So what I'll do is I'll make a video of how good it cuts the lawn when we've, um, well, when we've got get the opportunity to. Um, but yeah, so next thing to start, the rotavator, yeah. So I might make a start on that this weekend, to be honest. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I want to say a big hello to all my new subscribers. Uh, thanks for some of the comments and advice I get on Lawnmower. It was quite handy. Uh, and uh, advice and comments I get on other videos as well, not just the Lawnmower. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll see you all very soon with a new one. We've got a couple of quite good videos come in. So I've got the intake pipe on the XJR when the intake pipe eventually turns up. I'm getting a bit bored waiting now. It's been about a month now. I mean, they said three to four weeks and I'm sure it's on week four now, but I've just got to double check that. Um, uh, we've got the rotivator to do. So there's gonna be three or four videos maybe with the rotivator. And what else? Oh, there's maybe just some little bits one doing on the red jag at some point, but there's nothing major just yet, but maybe in another month or so. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon and have a really good weekend.